Hello ladies and gentlemen, so today we are going to uh, quickly cover one interesting topic that is basically uh, hitting people's mind for a long period of time. So is it possible to learn programming on iPad and in particular JavaScript? And the short answer is yes, it's possible. So I very quickly will cover a couple of um, different options that you can uh, use in order to do that. So let's quickly dive in. In my previous videos, I already covered a couple of things like uh, how to set up IDE uh, called VS Code on your iPad, uh, which technically is not like natively running on your iPad. It's in, it's running in the cloud, uh, but you can access it via any device that can access internet basically and has browser. So yeah, you can use your iPad for programming basically. So. <clears throat> Yeah, if you're interested, check it out in my other videos. Uh, but for today, we're going to cover three options that you can use um, to learn code uh, in JavaScript. So the first one is uh, a plugin called Quokka. Uh, and unfortunately for uh, VS Code version on the cloud, this plugin is not available. But if you're using your desktop, uh, PC or Mac uh, with VS Code installed on it, you can just search for a plugin called Quokka and it will be uh, listed there you can install it and it's really 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 handy tool um, so it's primarily used for um, prototyping and quick experiments so it can show you uh, it can run your JavaScript right in your IDE so you can see the results very quickly straight away literally on um, on the same time you type the code basically so I will show you this quick video here uh, of, on my screen you can see basically how it works so it shows you the status of each line of your code so like it's green yellow or red uh, for errors so if you have some sort of inconsistency or some syntax errors etc it will show you very quickly so it gives you an opportunity to quickly uh, prototype some script and see the result or if for example you are working on some sort of algorithm or something uh, you can very quickly uh, experiment in this uh, plugin so and it all works directly in your IDE so it's very handy so you literally just uh, run it uh, while um, calling the plugin and that's pretty much it so you don't need any uh, like fancy setup or conf configuration it's very 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 simple so that's that and then the other option is uh, very similar but a little bit more advanced and it's a an online service called code sandbox um, and this one is uh, also very uh, powerful though slightly different approach so first of all this is a uh, almost proper development environment uh, in the uh, web browser basically so it's very similar to what we do with VS Code in the cloud uh, but it's slightly more like uh, pre-configured for work with different frameworks etc and it's again very similar to Quokka it's in my opinion at least it's more for it's this tool is more used uh, or like designed to be used for uh, prototyping and experimenting again. But again, as I mentioned, it also uh, supports various frameworks, etc. So it's a little bit more advanced. So you have a little bit more options rather than you have in Quokka. So as you can see, there are a couple of options. So if you have an account, you can you will see this dashboard with your sandboxes. And from the name sandbox, you can already see that it's basically for creating some sort of a um, sandbox for your um, mini app or your experiments basically so you can see that it's mainly designed for javascript so you can create a vanilla sandbox and create um, sandbox with some frameworks like view react angular uh, just vanilla node.js application and there are many others uh, like gatsby and stuff like that <coughs> So just for purpose of this video, I will click on create sandbox, uh, which allows you to see the options. Yeah, you see it's quite a lot of things in there. Uh, but for purposes of the demo, I will just create a vanilla JavaScript uh, example. 
and basically you will have very similar experience to VS Code so you will see the similar UI as well as uh, syntax highlight and stuff uh, like IntelliSense as you can see is also available here so it's very similar to a proper development environment where you will see all the uh, tools almost available to you and because this is running in the browser the uh, guys who created this service they thought about it and basically have your code on the right hand side here and your view of the application on the right hand side there will be a uh, folder structure here on the left hand side again so you can collapse that i think or you can move stuff like that basically and for debugging or quick access to your console you have this option here so you don't have to use your browser console so you can debug your code and see the output very quickly uh, but again, this is not the tool that you're going to be using for a proper big dev um, development of the proper, you know, enterprise or even like a big application that you're going to be deploying to production. So in order to do that, I think the best solution, at least if you want to use your mobile devices like iPad for development, is the ID in the cloud. So this is something I covered in my previous videos. And you can check out those in my on my channel uh, and i will also put some links down below into the description uh, but you can set up a fully working vs code in the cloud basically and access it with your ipad or iphone or any other uh, tablet or basically any device even your laptop and you will have always in sync the same environment uh, where you can develop and the example of that looks like this basically so i will refresh this page I need to put my password, it's also secure. Um, so, and hopefully it will load. Yep, there we go. So this is the fully working uh, VS Code in the cloud. So you can do whatever you would normally do um, with VS Code. Um, so you have uh, Unix shell available there as well. And basically you can open your project. So you can plug in your, um, github account and like all your repos can be pulled here you can work on that and etc etc so uh it's very handy you can run your code over here uh you can see that it's a complete normal uh, development environment basically and as i mentioned previously in code sandbox we have all the intellisense and etc etc you can install all the vs code plugins here for uh linting for like debugging etc etc so you can also have um uh, all the uh, like tools like IntelliSense and like autocomplete and stuff like that, uh, especially for JavaScript because VS Code initially is written in JavaScript on its own. So that's a very powerful tool. Um, and you can also run a dev environment here as well. So you can basically run uh, your Node application or any other application, to be honest, uh, which supports local host server on your local machine. You can expose the port and then you can run it on your um, uh, VM and, ex and, and access the application on the different tab or on different window. If you're interested in that, I can cover in more details uh, one of the options. So if you really wish uh, to see more in-depth details about one of the options, we can cover it in another video. So please comment down below and basically like the video, subscribe. And if we will collect enough uh, feedback on this video, and the option that you guys want to see more, uh, I will just create another video on one of the described options uh, above. So yeah, but anyway, you subscribe for the channel, like the video, and I will release uh, more videos about similar stuff on this channel anyway. Cool. Cheers. Cheers.